Good morning to you. Thanks so much for hanging out with Rising and tuning in for your talk, your truth, and your tea. If you were a fan of those nighttime soaps like Dallas, Knott's Landing, then you've probably heard the name David Jacobs. He was the creator of those shows, and this morning we are sad to report that he has passed away. Jacobs had been suffering from Alzheimer's disease for the past several years. Now his son says he died on Sunday. Jacobs created the original soap opera Dallas, which aired for 14 seasons from 1978 to 1991 and its re reboot series of the same name. It aired between 2012 and 2014. He was also the creator of the Dallas spinoff series, Knott's Landing, which started in 1979. That ran for 14 seasons until 1993. Jacobs, 84 years old. It's a done deal for Halle Berry. Her divorce is finally, finally final. It's been almost eight years since Barry and the then husband, Oliver Martinez, filed those divorce petitions. The couple will have joint custody of their nine-year-old son, Maceo, and Barry will have to shell out $8,000 a month to Martinez for child support. The two met on a movie set and married in 2013 before deciding to call it quits in 2015. R. Kelly isn't happy about the move prosecutors just made. They garnished his music royalties. Those royalties are expected to total $500,000. The money will be divided among the R&B singer's sexual abuse victims. So far, those victims have only received $27,000 from the singer. Kelly, who is 56 years old, was sentenced to 30 years in federal prison over sex trafficking and racketeering charges. Jeopardy has found someone to host the game show after Maya Bialik decided to step away as host and stand in support of the writer strike. Any guesses on who the new host will be? Here's the answer. Who is Ken Jennings? Jennings is a familiar face on Jeopardy, but he's been criticized for not standing with writers. The syndicated show is expected to return for its 40th season on Monday, September 11. Well, Kevin Hart has a warning for all of us over the age of 40. Stay in your lane and leave the young people stuff to the young people. He recently got talked into racing with a younger guy, former NFL uh, player. Hart says they were running a 40-yard dash. Things didn't go right with Hart, and now the funny man is feeling the pain. Um, this is just a public service announcement because I know people may see me out, and I don't want you to be alarmed, but I'm in a wheelchair. Yeah. Hart says he tore, get this, he tore his lower abdomen and his abductors, what are those? Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, well, he didn't even know what they were either, so I don't feel bad about <laughs> you not knowing. Abductor. Is it, do you think it's ab something? No. I'm going with Lauren, she says it on the side. Well, somewhere. it's like your, your abdomen, it's all like that, right here, and then there's like connected. stuff on the side too. There's, yeah. it's a whole big muscle underneath the other stuff. We need a medical well, person on yeah. the show. So, <laughs> Uh, Dr. McDonald says it's it's on the side. It's a whole big abdominal muscle. So he messed that up too. Uh, <laughs> so now he's unable to walk. So he's having to roll around in this wheelchair until he gets back on his feet. Now I I know this pain because you know I over 40 and at, technically over 50 now. Um, just waking up, just rising up out of the bed, this will completely cramp up. Well, you do it every morning. <laughs> For yeah. us, so rising, <laughs> rises up. You don't yeah. see the pain I go through to get here. Though. Oh, man. It, you know, it's, it, it, my, my, my buddy actually talked to him yesterday. He blew out his Achilles mm. playing oh. soccer, but he actually wasn't playing yet. He was, he was getting ready to go play, <laughs> oh, and he no. blew it out. And I'm oh, like, that's man. the worst. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't know. You're going to make a lie in that case. I know. I'm like, Barrier is an adult, too. To do things because yeah. you don't want to get hurt. Like skiing and snowboarding, I tried to learn yeah, and I was I like, my, mm, my time has passed. I used to run up steps, but now I take it one step at a time. Take it slow. Time. You know, there's that railing too. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I got to use the rail. That's true, Lauren. Hold on to something. It's 836 right now and we're going to check in with you.